What's going on guys, L here from WorkToRemoteJobs.com and in this video we're going to be talking about some tips for working two remote jobs at the same exact time. This is probably one of the most important videos I've posted. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's dive right into it. So the first tip for working two remote jobs is you really want to commit to a certain job niche. What do, what do I mean by this? Let's dive into the details here in box number one. So let me get my black pencil right here. So you want to commit to a job niche. So that might be software. That might be social media, etc. You want to commit to one. Now let's say you're a beginner and you're like, I don't even know, I don't even know which one to start with. Well, we have another video on the channel helping you figure out kind of what side of the brain are you. You'll want to watch that one, go through that one and figure out whether you're more analytical, hands-on, logical, or more creative. I'm more creative, so in a software position, I would, I would die. But in a social position or a creation position, I'm great. So I'd do that. And then um, I wouldn't just dive into a new niche and be like, I'm going to learn all this stuff. Think about where are you right now and where are you starting? What skills do you have right off the bat that you can use? that you've learned on other jobs that are on your resume and just start there with your current skills. Now, with your current skills, you don't necessarily need to stay there, but start where you are and then also map out and write down where you are going. So here's the skill you might have now and here's your target, your target goal skill. Figure those out, and that's the job niche, where you are now and where you want to be. The second big tip for working two remote jobs right now is you have to have what's called an exit strategy. And the way I like to think about it and how I do it myself is treat all of this. Here, let me zoom in a little so my handwriting is not atrocious. Treat it just like a business. Don't treat it like a W-2 job or a nine to five. Treat all of this like a business. And I practice what I preach. I work two remote jobs, but I'm also creating all of this content, the masterclass and all this stuff. So here's my roadmap and what I suggest you do as well something along these lines so treating it like a business here's your starting point okay and let's look at it kind of like a map x marks the spot here is some type of business or money goal okay this could be let me take, make a little note over here this could actually be a full-fledged business. This could be, um, what's it called? When you, I, I, I don't invest in stocks or bonds or stuff like that, but when you do that and you invest in like the S&P 500, not 5,000, S&P 500, and you make like five to 10% returns each year, or you might go into real estate or anything. Anything involving money, set that goal on your map. And then you want to figure out, okay, what are the steps that I need to do to successfully land here? The first thing you might need to do is get that job one. Second thing is job two, right? But there might be other things along your journey that you have to do that we'll talk about here. Like you might need to jump into a different niche. You might need to outsource work, hire team members. But it's super important to have this mapped out and just have it 
have it cataloged somewhere. So you're making sure that you're planning your exit strategy and you're treating all of this like a business and not just you're grinding until you die. That's not the goal. We're working to remote jobs with a purpose to serve you for something. And then the question is, what is that something? Define it, write it down, have a map. The third tip that I can give you going into this, and I'm trying to keep all these unique and different, so each one you go, oh, that's super valuable, is to level up your skills. So for here, let's do an example, right? Sales. It's just an example. Sales, you could really go into, anybody can go into as a beginner. Um, a lot of them are in person, but a lot of them are remote as well. What does this entail? You have to follow the steps that we teach in the master class and on the channel. You basically just need to get your resume right. You need to get your video resume right. You need to make sure you're coming off as professional and that you're a hustler in this example, right? You hit all these things, you're going to get a job remote, no experience or not. What you can do in sales is you can pretty much level up your skills and do something else that you want. Um, let's say you're crushing it in sales, but then you want to move on and manage people. Well, what you can do is in this role, you can do some type of project managing or figuring out how to do some type of project managing. Maybe your company's using a sales force and their sales members on the team and you kind of take over the project managing role along with the sales. So then you can put those projects and that experience on your por portfolio. Now, it might be a different example where you're working in sales and you want to upskill, you want to level up your skills into software. Maybe there's courses or things or projects that you can take on while still doing well in this role to upskill into software. Now, the point of this is to, so you actually learn the skill, not only that, but the probably the biggest thing is that you can put this skill on your resume with concrete results being like, I worked in sales and I built XYZ program that resulted in XYZ amount of revenue to help the team, blah, blah, blah. So think about the skill that you want to learn in regards to your current role and how can you intertwine them so you can put that experience on your resume. That's the whole goal there. So you can level up those skills use those skills to move on. Tip number four for working two remote jobs kind of goes hand in hand with this one, but it'll make you go, oh, okay. Hit your target of your job and move on. Let's stick with this example of sales. Sales, the goal is to make money. However, in sales from probably the, when you start year, zero to year 0 0.5, you're going to be a sales guy or sales gal, right? There's really nowhere you can jump from there. However, just make sure you're crushing it, bringing in revenue and making progress. And from years 0 0.5 to 1.5, you could actually get promoted. And you could go one of two ways that I've seen, you could become a manager, or if you're crushing sales, you can actually become a director. That's how it works. Now, here's the thing with working at the same company that you get promoted to. Sales. A company one, you're going to be making, let's call it 60K. I don't want to really involve commissions, though. So company one. You work in sales, you're going to make 60K. At company one, you get hired as a manager. They'll probably promote you 75K, right? 15K bonus. You're like, ooh, yay, that's great. However, here, let's even go one more. And then they, 
might promote you to be a director, right? And ooh, you're you're close to that like 100k spot. Good for you. However, the goal is to make this jump or this jump as fast as humanly possible and then move on to a different company. Here's why. If you're working in sales at company one, at company two, you're going to get paid the exact same, pretty much. Okay. And that's at company two. However, at company two, if you're a, why can't I write? I don't know. If you're a manager at company two, you're probably going to get paid more. Okay. Um, it depends on the industry, of course, but from going to 60K to like 100K at the same position, it just doesn't normally work like that. They'll give you an okay bonus. They're like, wow, 15K for a totally different role. That's good. But you could get the title here and put the experience on your resume for like half a year and move on and be like, I've worked as a manager. And you can say that on your resume and show concrete results. Um, transition into a different industry and get paid more. And you could be a director and get 180K. And that's how it works. Instead of working for those bonuses, work for those titles, and then move on to a different company to get paid more. That's the play there for hitting your target, whether it's this or whether it's that, and then moving on to get paid more. That's the play there. So tip number five for working two remote jobs at the same time. I love this one. A lot of people have their opinions. It's to outsource, right? When you have two jobs, does outsourcing really make sense? Eh, I mean, sometimes, right? But maybe your goal that you aligned in your exit strategy is I'm looking to work three remote jobs, build up as much cash as possible and just throw it all into real estate and never work again. So if you're working three jobs, it might be overwhelming at that point. And, and then, yeah, it might make sense to outsource. If you're somebody looking to outsource, um, I would say, look for these things. Can you do it? Will you break any company rules? Or are you causing any trouble because you get in trouble for this? If, if you are, I would recommend not doing it. Where and what? So if, if you are outsourcing, I recommend going to something called onlinejobs.ph. Simple. Pay. Uh, three to six dollars an hour and you're good to go and what what will you outsource what you'll need to do is create things called SOPs you see how I'm on I'm on loom right now I'm creating these videos for you to learn this is kind of my SOP for you what you can do is make these same loom videos create SOPs for your teammates in the Philippines from online jobs put them in notion stay organized and you'll be all good to go and if you're um, outsourcing, think about the things that you can't control. Okay. These are things that you'll have to do, but that's fine. Like, um, what are some? These are the ones that I've decided. I've decided meetings and communication. Comes. I don't, I don't want anybody taking over. Well, I can't have anybody taking this um, unless it, uh, there's like a deep fake of somebody else or whatever, but I'm not even going to go there. But communications, I don't want anybody taking over either because the, the language barrier here, it's a little different. And I feel like that could oust me working multiple remote jobs. But that's what I feel comfortable not delegating. Everything else, I, I feel comfortable delegating and it feels good. So that's the biggest tip on outsourcing is first, just find out if you're breaking any rules and then follow the other steps. And now the final six tip here for working two or more remote jobs at the same exact time is to hire team members. And the team members that I'm specifically talking about, this one will be quick. 
is not not an accountant, but a you'll want to look for high net worth accountants and just ask them if they have experience with people working to remote jobs. The second teammate you'll want to hire is what's in what's called an employment lawyer. Now, he's going to cover you. I can't teach on this, but some people I've heard from students and people watching these videos, um, they get big tax bills at like the end of the year because you're doing stuff wrong. So I would recommend finding them and making sure that you don't get charged like 60K or not 60K, like 7K at the end of the year because none of us want that. And then for an employment lawyer, for them, you're really going to hire them to go over any company contracts. You know, there's your contract and you just might see it as something normal, but they might be able to pick up on something and be like, oh, if you're working two remote jobs, you'll actually be fined $30,000 and then come up with a solution with your team members there. I'm a huge advocate for finding team members because if you find team members, and not only that, but you're outsourcing. Um, I mean, for the most part, your money is looking good, your legal obligations are looking good, and your actual work is looking good. And then what are you doing over on this side? You're having meetings and you're talking, okay? I'd say that's worth a couple hundred thousand dollars per year. So you guys have it. I'll leave that there just in case you want to take a little screenshot. That's six huge unique tips for working two remote jobs at the same exact time if you want to learn more click the link below and in the description you can actually join our program to get your first remote job which costs less money obviously or join the full-fledged master class to learn how to work two or more remote jobs and that one comes with all the bells and whistles and hand holding that comes along with all this if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments below.